Hello everyone and welcome to a quick tutorial on how to format your MLA Works Cited page using Google Docs. Now this tutorial assumes that you have already collected your sources and that you have already put each source in MLA format in a citation. As you can see here, a lot of this may have been copied and pasted from a citation already created through a database. Hence, you get different fonts, you get different sizes. ProQuest loves to add a little gray background to it. Um, some of them like to change the color of the font even. So the first thing that I'm going to do is make sure that I have the right font. So I am going to click onto my document and hit Control A so that I highlight the entire document. I am then going to put it in MLA's font, Times New Roman, size 12. Since I've got everything highlighted, I'm going to make sure that everything is in black ink and that there are no highlights. So I made everything in the right font at least. While I'm here, I'm gonna to go to File and go down to my page setup just to make sure that all my margins are one inch, which is the MLA requirement. From here, I'm going to start working on spacing. So you can see right here, I've got some weird spacing. MLA requires double spacing. So I go to this little icon right here and I make it double. So I just went here and I went double. So now I have double space, but now I need to work on my indent. So a lot of tutorials are going to tell you to mess with this little guy right here. It's very frustrating and I'm gonna show you a much easier way. Once you have everything highlighted, go to format and go to align and indent all the way down to indentation options. Make sure it says zero to start with and then you on both left and right, and then you go to special indent and you select hanging, then apply. And ta-da, now you have that weird little indent that you see in works cited pages. You can see this still isn't quite right though. So first I wanna draw your attention to the heading which says works cited, which must not only be in regular Times New Roman, not bold, not underlined, not italicized, not all caps, and I'm going to go to my alignment and bring it to the center of the page at the top. Next, I want to look at the order of these. MLA should be alphabetical order, starting with the first letter. However, you ignore words like the and a uh when they're in a title. So my first one is A-A-T, okay, C-C-H, well, I have Austin now, so that goes with un after Atwood. I'm gonna cut and simply paste. Now, I'm not going to add another space here. They go right after one another. So A, C, I'm ignoring the T and going with the next word because I'm not paying attention to the word the. So O, P, oh, I've got D here. That should go before, so I cut that. Goes after Chan. I hit enter and then paste. Okay, T, so that goes after P. So I'm all good now, but I'm gonna take out those extra spaces. This is a big misconception. Students love to add extra spaces. You don't need them. Make sure that your hanging indent doesn't get messed up. Remember, you can always go back Align, indent, indentation options, hanging, apply. Take it out at the top too. It starts right after work cited, no extra spaces. And then you go through and make sure things are quoted appropriately, that your titles are have quotation marks where they need. Oh, I found the mistake, boundaries of the imagination forum. That would go in italics, okay. Pride and the Prejudice, that's a major novel. That goes in italics. Postmodernism, that is the article. That goes in quotation marks, whereas the big piece goes in italics and so forth. So you just wanna make sure 
You have all of your information and there you go. You have your works cited page in Google Docs. Always make sure that you're saving with a title that's easy to find it. I put this in my essay because this is going to be my last page of the essay. It goes on its own page, which you'll format once you add all that text before. As always, check out Lackawanna College's Writing Center if you have any questions or confusion.